A row about tomato seeds which were put into orbit in a scientific experiment is said to be making Britain a laughingstock. Four million American school children are growing tomato plants from the space seeds, but here the government officials have ordered schools to destroy their crops. It seems the tomato seeds weren't granted an import license. Two, one, zero, and liftoff. April 1984, and the launch of the sixth flight of the Challenger shuttle. Among the biological materials on board, 12 million tomato seeds. Scientists wanted to know how radiation could affect their subsequent growth. After six years in orbit, the seeds were back. Eight million BBC viewers saw space correspondent Reg Turnill hand over thousands of them for British school children to grow as part of the NASA experiment. The Ministry of Agriculture were incensed. An order was immediately sent to the schools to destroy their space tomatoes because they didn't have an import license. Ministry restrictions over these wretched tomatoes have made us a laughing stock in America and in Europe in the space business we're now treated with contempt. But if the schools felt forced to comply, there's been total resistance from Reg Turnell himself. Last year's crop was eaten with no ill effects. But determined to stop the next generation being consumed, the Ministry dispatched one of their chief plant inspectors to his greenhouse in Kent. What will probably happen, they will issue with a licence, yeah. uh, which will then ask you uh, not to eat the fruit and to dispose of them. Not to eat the fruit? It might well do, yeah. The ministry's fear is that seeds passing through the digestive system may germinate when sewage sludge is spread on other crops. The suggestion is, isn't it, uh, that if I eat these tomatoes and go and do my business on Romney Marsh, it might destroy Britain's future potato crop. Over tea, the argument with the ministry goes on, with as yet no signs of a government climb down. In a pickle over tomatoes.